Hello and welcome again to the XJet channel and today I'm going to answer some questions that people ask me. What is the best plane to learn to fly radio control with? In fact, how should I get into the hobby of radio control models? And today I'm going to hold up the AXN Floater, which is a, a really cheap, really robust and easy to fly model. And you can pick these up for about $50, and that's with the motor and the servos and everything. By the time you get your batteries and then a biocharger, if you're talking American dollars, you've got changed from $65 to $70. You'll need a radio control system. Now the Flysky, which is sold as the Turnigy, the IMAX, the Urgle, that's a radio system that is quite cheap. The cheapest place to buy it is Hobby King. It's known as the Turnigy 9X. You can get those for about under $60. And so for less than $200, well maybe a bit more than $200, no, under $200, you'll have a really easy to fly plane that's also very tough and a great radio system. So let's have a look at how easy it is to fly the AXN floater with the Flysky or Turnigy 9X radio. Now, come back to me if you like. Come back to me. Me? <laughs> yep. Now, I'm, I'm, as you can see, I'm, I'm not really even doing anything with the radio and the plane is flying itself because these are so stable. I'm just using a little bit of input on the ailerons at times and the model's just flying around. You can't get much simpler than that to fly. You can go back to the model if you want to just come through the sun. So I'm not using any elevator input. I'm just steering it with the ailerons and there it goes. I mean, you couldn't wish for an easier to fly plane than this. Haven't touched the ailerons or the throttle. I'm just letting the plane fly itself. It's really quite simple. I'll tell you what to do with them when you break them. <laughs> and of course, if you need to fly slow, you can pull back on the throttle. It's actually a glider as well, so it'll just fly around for a long time without the motor going. And they're very stable. Even if you get it, I'll put it over into a bit of a steep dive, let go of the controls, and it pulls out all by itself and continues to fly. Now that's great when you're learning to fly. You don't have to get panicky or worried about things. If something goes wrong, just let go of the sticks and it'll fly itself. But if you really want to make it go, you can open up the taps and these things will really go fast. And they're also quite aerobatic. So it's a model you won't grow out of in a hurry. It can be your trainer, and once you've got the hang of basic flying, it can also be a hot rod aerobatic ship. For the money, you can't beat them. So if you want to get into RC flying, the 9X AXM floater combo is probably the cheapest and the best way to do it. That's it. That's how you get into the hobby of flying radio controlled model aircraft. There's the moon bleeding. <laughs> oh, I got it, Joe! I got it! <laughs> so here is the AXN floater after hitting the tower. And come on, let's have a look at the front of it. You saw how hard it hit that tower. We've got a little tiny crack. You can probably can't see it there. And the foam's been a bit compressed. You can see by the wrinkles. Um, there's a little bit of a dent in the wing tip from the iron on the hangar roof. But 
<laughs> really? It just bounced off. The damn thing just bounced off and it still flies really well. So, another reason why if you want to get a really tough plane that doesn't cost much and flies really well, the AXM floater.